Europe has a long record promoting women's rights and equality between women and men. Today, the vast majority of equality and employment laws in European Union countries comes from the EU level. After centuries of inequality, the EU, since its creation in 1957, responded with policies and laws that laid foundations for equal pay for equal work and work of equal value, pregnant workers' rights and parental leave, and equal opportunities, racial equality and sexual harassment. But lately, economic policies and austerity measures are severely jeopardizing women's economic independence. What does austerity mean for women in Europe? Huge budget cuts to public sector jobs and cuts to the services that all of our well-being depends on, such as childcare, elder care and parental leave. Austerity also means more poverty. More and more women and men are experiencing in-work poverty, while cuts in benefits impact those already struggling. Austerity may widen the existing, and very worrying, 39% gap between women and men's pensions. Austerity means cuts in support to shelters for victims of violence, hotlines, advocacy groups and equality bodies. Austerity could lead to a return to traditional gender roles. Women are considered second earners, but in reality more and more women are the primary breadwinners. Today, women want to stay in the labour market, but it comes at a very high cost, with low salaries and worsening working conditions. At the same time, women are being pushed back into caring for their children, grandchildren and parents because of the lack of care services. Austerity is not working. The economy must serve the well-being of all and not the other way around. Europe is you. In the 2014 elections, vote for a European Union that supports equality and well-being of all women, men, girls and boys. Together, we can have the Europe we want.